Imagine waking up one day to find that your favorite beach no longer exists. A scary thought, isn't it? Now let's delve into the world of climate change, a reality that looms over us, threatening our ecosystems and the life they support. It's a complex topic, but one that we must grasp if we're to protect our planet. But how does a small change in temperature lead to such drastic changes in our environment? The answer lies in the butterfly effect. You might have heard of the butterfly effect, a concept from chaos theory. This idea is often illustrated with a whimsical image. The flap of a butterfly's wings in Brazil might set off a cascade of atmospheric events, leading to a tornado in Texas. While this is an exaggeration, it captures the essence of the butterfly effect. The butterfly effect is all about sensitivity to initial conditions. It's the notion that a minute alteration can have large-scale and unpredictable ramifications over time and space. In the grand tapestry of existence, every thread is interconnected, meaning a tug on one can cause ripples throughout the entire fabric. Let's consider a more down-to-earth example. Imagine you're planning a picnic. The weather forecast predicts sunshine, but on the day a cloud forms and it rains. Your picnic is ruined. So what caused the rain? It could be that somewhere, miles away, a farmer was plowing his field. The dust from the plowing rose and formed a cloud. That cloud then drifted over to where your picnic was and rained down. A small action somewhere else led to a big change in your plans. This is the essence of the butterfly effect. The universe is a chaotic system, sensitive to the smallest of changes. Chaos, in this context, is not about total disorder. Rather, it's about unpredictability. It's about how tiny variations can lead to wildly different outcomes, making long-term predictions challenging. The butterfly effect doesn't mean that every single small thing that happens will have a large effect, but it does mean that some small things can have large effects. And often we can't predict which small things will lead to big changes. That's the unpredictability of chaos. The butterfly effect is not just a fascinating concept, it's a fundamental principle of our reality. It reminds us of the intricate interconnectedness of our world, the delicate balance of cause and effect that constantly shapes our lives. Now that we understand the butterfly effect, we can see how it applies to climate change. Climate change is the biggest butterfly effect we're experiencing today, just as the flap of a butterfly's wings can trigger a tornado thousands of miles away. A seemingly small shift in the world's average temperature can lead to a cascade of drastic changes in our global climate patterns. To understand this, let's first consider how the Earth's climate system works. It's a complex interplay of air, water, land and life that creates the conditions we experience as weather. A rise in global temperature, even by just one degree Celsius, can upset this delicate balance. It's like adding an extra pinch of salt to a carefully crafted recipe. The result can be radically different from what was intended. Now let's consider the real-life examples. Take the Arctic, for instance. A rise in global temperatures has led to a dramatic reduction in sea ice. This might seem like a distant concern, but it has far-reaching effects. You see, the Arctic ice acts like a giant mirror, reflecting sunlight back into space and helping to cool our planet. As this ice melts, more sunlight is absorbed by the ocean, leading to further warming and more ice melt. It's a vicious cycle. And what about the tiny plankton in our oceans? These microscopic organisms play a crucial role in regulating our planet's climate by absorbing carbon dioxide. However, rising ocean temperatures and acidification are threatening their survival. Without them, more carbon dioxide stays in our atmosphere, further fueling global warming. Similarly, our forests are also feeling the heat. Higher temperatures and changing rainfall patterns are making it harder for many trees to survive. This not only threatens biodiversity, but also reduces the amount of carbon dioxide these forests can absorb, amplifying the warming effect. And then there are the extreme weather events. Warmer air can hold more moisture, leading to more intense rainfall and flooding in some areas. At the same time, higher temperatures can exacerbate droughts in other regions, creating conditions ripe for wildfires. These events not only cause devastation in their own right, but they also disrupt ecosystems, displace wildlife and alter landscapes. So you see, just as the butterfly effect suggests, a small change in one part of the system can ripple out to cause significant shifts elsewhere. In the context of climate change, these shifts are not just happening in isolated pockets of our planet. They're affecting ecosystems on a global scale, from the Arctic tundra to the Amazon rainforest, from the coral reefs in our oceans to the grasslands of the African savannah. 
the butterfly effect in climate change is a stark reminder that everything in our world is interconnected. It underscores the fact that the health of our planet depends on the stability of its climate, and it shows us that even small changes can have profound consequences. Climate change doesn't just affect us humans, it impacts every living organism on Earth. It's a domino effect, a chain reaction, a butterfly effect, and it's happening right here, right now. From the deepest oceans to the highest mountains, no corner of our planet is immune to the effects of climate change. When we think about climate change, perhaps the first things that come to mind are melting ice caps or rising sea levels. But the impacts of climate change are far more complex and wide-ranging. It's not just about warmer temperatures or more intense weather events. It's about the domino effect these changes can have on our global ecosystems. Let's start with the most obvious impact, changing weather patterns. As the planet warms, we're seeing more frequent and intense heat waves, storms and droughts. These shifts in weather can have drastic effects on ecosystems, disrupting the delicate balance of life. For instance, prolonged droughts can lead to the death of trees and plants, which in turn affects the animals that rely on them for food and shelter. But the impacts of climate change on our ecosystems are not just direct, they're also indirect. And these indirect effects can sometimes be even more devastating. Take for example the shift in animal and plant distributions. As temperatures rise, many species are being forced to move to cooler areas, often higher altitudes or further towards the poles. This migration isn't just about individual species, it's about the intricate web of life that connects them. When one species moves, it can disrupt the entire ecosystem. Predators may lose their prey, plants may lose their pollinators and so on. The ripple effects can be far-reaching and unpredictable. Similarly, changes in the timing of natural events or phenology can have significant impacts. Many plants and animals rely on specific cues from the environment to know when to bloom, migrate or reproduce. But as climate change alters these cues, it can throw off the timing of these events, leading to mismatches between species. For example, if a flower blooms before its pollinators have emerged, it may not be able to reproduce, leading to a decline in its population. Furthermore, climate change can exacerbate existing threats to ecosystems, such as habitat destruction and pollution. For instance, warmer temperatures can increase the spread of invasive species and diseases, both of which can wreak havoc on ecosystems. It can also amplify the impacts of pollution, as many pollutants are more toxic at higher temperatures. And let's not forget about the oceans. They absorb about a quarter of the carbon dioxide we emit, leading to ocean acidification. This process is harmful to many marine species, particularly those with shells or skeletons made of calcium carbonate, like corals and shellfish. Warmer ocean temperatures also contribute to coral bleaching, a stress response that can lead to the death of corals and the collapse of the entire coral reef ecosystem. The impacts of climate change on our global ecosystems are complex and interconnected, and we're only beginning to understand them. But one thing is clear, the health of our planet's ecosystems is crucial for our own survival. They provide us with food, clean water, air, and countless other benefits. So, the next time you hear about climate change, remember it's not just about melting ice caps or extreme weather. It's about the butterfly in the Amazon whose habitat is disappearing, the polar bear in the Arctic struggling to find food, and the coral in the Great Barrier Reef bleaching from warm waters. It's about the intricate web of life that connects us all, and the delicate balance that climate change threatens to disrupt. As we can see, the ripple effects of climate change are far-reaching. But how did we get here? What role do we humans play in this global issue? Our actions, both big and small, have contributed to the current state of our planet. Let's delve deeper into the human role in climate change. Our planet has supported life for billions of years, maintaining a delicate balance. But over the past few centuries, human activities have disrupted this balance, accelerating the natural process of climate change. This acceleration is primarily due to the Industrial Revolution, which marked a shift from agrarian societies to industrial and urban ones. This period saw a surge in the burning of fossil fuels such as coal, oil and gas, releasing vast amounts of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. Carbon dioxide, a greenhouse gas, traps heat from the sun, preventing it from escaping back into space. While this greenhouse effect is essential for supporting life on Earth, too much of it leads to global warming. And that's exactly what's happening. 
the amount of carbon dioxide in our atmosphere has increased by more than a third since the Industrial Revolution, causing our planet to warm at an unprecedented rate. But burning fossil fuels isn't the only way we're contributing to climate change. Deforestation plays a significant role too. Forests are like the lungs of our planet, absorbing carbon dioxide and releasing oxygen. But every minute, an area of forest the size of 20 football fields is cut down. This not only releases the carbon stored in the trees, but also reduces the planet's capacity to absorb future carbon emissions. Our agricultural practices are also to blame. Intensive farming methods, including the use of synthetic fertilizers, release nitrous oxide, another potent greenhouse gas. Livestock farming contributes too, as it produces methane, a gas over 20 times more effective at trapping heat than carbon dioxide. In essence, our modern lifestyle, driven by consumption and convenience, is largely responsible for the current state of our planet. We burn fossil fuels to power our cars, heat our homes and manufacture goods. We cut down forests to make way for agriculture and urban development. We consume goods without considering the environmental impact of their production and disposal. The good news is, we also have the power to slow down, stop and even reverse the effects of climate change. While the challenge is formidable, human innovation and determination have proven to be equally so. We've created the problem but we also hold the solutions. However, it's not just about inventing new technologies to reduce carbon emissions. It's also about changing our behaviors and attitudes. It's about understanding that everything we do, from the food we eat to the clothes we wear, has an impact on our planet. It's about realizing that every decision we make, every action we take, can either contribute to the problem or be part of the solution. It's also about recognizing that climate change isn't just an environmental issue, it's a social issue, an economic issue, a political issue. It affects every aspect of our lives, from our health to our economy, from our security to our future. So, as we stand at this critical juncture, we must ask ourselves, what kind of world do we want to leave for future generations? A world of escalating temperatures, rising sea levels, and extreme weather events? or a world where the balance of nature is respected, where the beauty and diversity of life are cherished and preserved. The fate of our planet lies in our hands. We have the power to slow down, stop, and even reverse the effects of climate change. But to do so, we must act now. Because every second counts, every action matters, and every one of us has a role to play. It's not too late to make a difference. Each one of us can contribute to the solution. Let's delve into the actionable steps we can take as individuals to combat climate change. The first step is to reduce our energy consumption. It's a common misconception that reducing energy usage means sacrificing comfort. But that's far from the truth. Small changes in our daily habits can lead to significant reductions in energy usage without affecting our quality of life. For example, switching off lights when not in use or unplugging electronic devices when they're not needed can make a big difference over time. Another easy step is to adjust our thermostats. By lowering the heat in winter and raising the air conditioning in summer, even by a couple of degrees, we can significantly reduce energy consumption. Additionally, installing energy efficient appliances and light bulbs can lead to considerable savings of both energy and money. The second actionable step is recycling. The process of creating new products from waste materials uses less energy and produces fewer greenhouse gases than manufacturing new items. So, by recycling items like bottles, cans, paper and plastic, we are indirectly reducing our carbon footprint. However, it's crucial to remember that not all waste can be recycled. We should strive to reduce the amount of waste we produce in the first place. This can be achieved by buying items with less packaging, choosing reusable products and composting organic waste. The third step is supporting renewable energy. Renewable energy sources like wind, solar and hydroelectric power don't emit the greenhouse gases that contribute to climate change. By choosing to power our homes with renewable energy, we are not only reducing our carbon footprint, but also supporting a sustainable future. If switching to renewable energy isn't feasible, consider buying energy credits. These credits support the development of renewable energy infrastructure, even if you can't directly use the energy produced. Furthermore, we can make a difference by influencing others. Talk to your friends, family and colleagues about the importance of combating climate change. Encourage them to take steps like reducing energy consumption, recycling and supporting renewable energy. 
You can also use your vote and your wallet to make a difference. Support politicians who prioritize climate change policies and companies that practice sustainable business models. Lastly, don't underestimate the power of planting trees. Trees absorb carbon dioxide, one of the primary greenhouse gases contributing to climate change, and release oxygen. By planting a tree, you're not only creating a habitat for wildlife, but also helping to balance our planet's carbon cycle. In conclusion, combating climate change requires a collective effort. We all have a part to play, and every step we take, no matter how small, can lead to significant change. So let's start today. Let's make conscious choices to reduce our energy consumption, recycle more, support renewable energy, influence others, and plant more trees. Remember, every action counts. No matter how small, your efforts can make a big difference. Climate change is a global issue, but it's also a personal one. As we journeyed through the complexities of the butterfly effect, we've seen how a seemingly insignificant action can ripple across our planet, causing impactful changes. The flutter of a butterfly's wings in one part of the world can, through a series of cascading events, lead to a storm in another. This is not just a poetic concept, it's a stark reality that underscores the interconnectedness of our world. We've delved into how climate change, fueled by the butterfly effect, is reshaping global ecosystems. These changes are not just happening in far-off places, they're happening in our backyards, in our cities, and in the landscapes we hold dear. From the smallest insects to the largest mammals, from the depths of the oceans to the peaks of the highest mountains, no corner of our planet is immune to the effects of climate change. We've also explored the human role in this unfolding drama. Our actions, our choices, our behaviors, they're the butterflies whose wings are setting off storms of change. Our reliance on fossil fuels, our consumption patterns, our disregard for natural resources, these are the gusts of wind that are altering weather patterns, melting ice caps, and causing sea levels to rise. But we also hold the power to change the course of this narrative. Each one of us in our own small way can make a difference. By reducing our carbon footprint, by choosing sustainable alternatives, by advocating for environmental policies, we can help to slow down and perhaps even reverse the effects of climate change. Remember the same butterfly effect that's causing havoc can also be harnessed for good. Each positive action we take can set off a chain reaction of beneficial changes. Like ripples in a pond, our collective actions can spread outwards, influencing others, and ultimately shaping the world. As we conclude this journey, let's not forget the importance of understanding and addressing climate change. It's not just about the science or the statistics or the policies, it's about our planet, our home, our future. It's about the world we'll leave behind for our children and their children after them. We are all part of this earth, and it's our responsibility to take care of it. Let's do our part to ensure a bright and sustainable future for all.